I try to take the most out of every situation that I'm in. And I, I kind of believe in fate a lot, uh, even though it, it's like, it's edgy sometimes to talk about, but I believe that you are where you're supposed to be. If you talk to me again before I have my morning coffee. Dude, 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 calm down, man, calm down. Brain effect awake for a perfect dose of caffeine. Hello, everyone. This is Darius from the Shot Caller once again, joined by Cold after an important win against Excel for Origin. Yeah. Playoffs race is on, and it's tight for you guys. Yeah, it's it's a little bit too tight, I would I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, we are in a position right now where. Every win matters so much to us. Uh, so winning against Excel was was really important for us today. And uh, I, I actually, it's it's funny because uh, sometimes in regular season, you feel like some games you're not as hyped as like from, for, for example, like a playoff game or, but actually like these kind of games, you actually feel the pressure, you know, like you feel like there's something at stake. You really, really want to do well. Uh, so it's it's actually kind of fun in a way because they, it's like that feeling that really drives at least me uh, to play uh, well. So it's like it's actually fun. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I would imagine it's a lot more fun than already being locked for a second and you're know, like mm -hmm. being in secure spot. But of course, the orc doesn't <laughs> want to hear that. I mean, I would I would love to be locked for for a second, obviously, but. That's not the story of uh, Origin in summer, so. It is not, but maybe it will be in playoffs. Of course, you guys do have to face Rogue next week first. That will be a very crucial match yeah. uh, for both teams. Mm -hmm. uh, are you confident going into that matchup? Uh, yeah, I would say we are We are very confident. Uh, we, we, are, we are doing well in practice, and I know that means, like, w what does that even mean nowadays? Uh, but we are trying, we're trying a lot of things and we are solving, we're trying to like solve the issues and we are all um, trying to find solutions. You know, like, I mean, it's obvious from, from the viewers to, that are watching us that we have some issues uh, in our play, at least on stage, and we are trying our best to solve it. And it's, it's not easy, it, it hurts, but uh, hopefully in, in the long run, it will make us better, yeah. Of course, of course. Now, uh, interestingly enough, uh, when I spoke with Mithy and uh, Nukeduck about these issues, of course, they mm -hmm. both said, you know, there were things that we, we as a team, we as Origin, had already established, kind of like communication things, and then we were so used to it, but then after the break, we kind of forgot about these things, and like, we weren't in perfect synergy, so mm -hmm. we would go for fights without really talking as much as we should be, because yeah. we, we kind of forgot about all of that. How, as a yeah, jungler, yeah. do you deal with that, since communication is one of your most important tools uh man it's rough it's rough like not gonna lie we we um we have the privilege of having a lot of players that are very um very very specific about like this is how we're gonna play the game like uh, if all of these things follow uh, in our our way then we will win uh but we don't play perfect i think almost no team plays perfect uh so we're doing mistakes and then suddenly one one mistake snowballs to another and then like it, it just goes wrong so we are trying we're trying new things and i think especially in the early game it has been shaky shaky as hell in the split uh and uh, it ha at times it seemed like everywhere was just like super volatile we could die any any time uh so we we're, we're trying to find uh structure in in the in the game and i i think um it it's not really like showing actually in, in at least in the stage games but um it's we're trying you know and uh so like f back to the point is like we have we have a lot of people like s bringing up ideas you know we can do this we can do this we can do this but you actually need someone to say like this is what we do and everyone is connected and we we play as a as a as a squad and i think that's probably one of the things that has been lacking a little bit in in summer uh compared to spring because like if you saw us play in spring we would uh, just grind out people, play so methodical that the enemy actually didn't have a chance. Uh, but uh, in summer, we give the opponents a lot more chances to win. Uh, and I think that's kind of how I see it. That said, against XL, you were heavily praised by the caster team for um, you know dr drowning out XL out of the resources at one point, just taking on at one advantage at a, at a time, not letting them into their own jungle, mm -hmm. and just slowly bleeding them out. Did uh, the addition of Case help uh, any like short term short term stuff already? I, I mean, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, if, if people don't know, we we got Case as an analyst, uh, and he joined us this week. 
and already now I can see why he's praised as a, one of the best analysts maybe even in, in the world. I, I don't know. Analyst is such a hard thing to evaluate mm -hmm. because I don't know what an analyst does for another team, but I see what he's what he's bringing and I think he is he's very smart and has a lot of good points that can help us. Um, it, for us, uh, it's like when you struggle a lot, you start to question everything. Like, are we doing X right? Are we doing, like, what are we actually doing right and what are we doing wrong? So... Uh, he came in with like, like a fresh mind and just uh, saw that uh, we were trying to like trying to do too many things at once. And sometimes you just have to slow down a little bit, play to play to just like actually literally just follow, play on a wave, play wave into vision and just like do the easy things. And we were often just going for the hard things and uh, then you do mistakes. Um, so we're trying to play more just standard and try to actually just play like a solid game of league instead of trying to uh, do everything at once. And I think he 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 at, he at least like opened my eyes to that we are we are not playing like what is called like the the, the methodical League of Legends that we used to do. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to to fix that. Okay, so what are you guys playing then currently? Is it just not methodical? Or is it too wild? What, what uh, would, how would you describe it? Uh, how I would describe it is like uh, we we have we have sadly had uh, you know like when you have a team like G two in the league, you have uh, you are very fortunate that you get pushed a lot, and sometimes you you have to maybe like adapt to it or we have to play more like them. Like why don't we play like them? Um, we can do the, we can do so many things like they're doing. Uh, but sometimes that doesn't just doesn't work for your team. So I think we just got like negatively impacted by like the surroundings of the league uh, and fought for a second with G2. But we, we are Origin and we have to realize that. And I think uh, the last couple of weeks we are starting to realize who we actually are because uh, I think also from the outside, it seems like we're playing like so many different drafts always. Like we're not Fnatic that picks the same champ, five champs every game. We are, we are not G2 that plays the most wacky shit ever and wins. Uh, we are Origin, so we are, we are trying to do that. Well, I was going to ask, what would you respond to all the people calling you guys Fnatic 2.0 in the comments and on <laughs> social media? Uh, well, I mean, it was a fun game, you know, like it would have been it would have been a good twist, you know, if uh, imagine we won and then we were just like, I mean, yeah, Fnatic is just, they're just drafting, their draft is so easy that we even can play it, you know, like, but it, uh, apparently that didn't <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. So yeah, the, the memes are kind of, um, th there was an attempt. Uh, that's what I mean, we do get influenced by the people we practice right, against, yeah. you know? So like we see, we see some strengths and, and, and also some, some negatives about like the, the draft that they do. And we try to, to mimic it and, and try to play uh, or bring at least some of the same champions. Uh, we're not playing like Fnatic, but we, we, bring, we brought some of the same champions. And we actually, even though we lost yesterday, um, uh, with with the fanatic draft or whatever you call want to call it, uh, we actually did really like the draft. Uh, we just uh, misplayed some part of the game, so that's just how it goes sometimes. That happens, but of course you can always take inspiration. Now during this game against XL, there was a very long pause and a very long break. Of course, yeah. uh, I saw you in particular go down and like bury your your, your head kind of in your hands and go into a sort of meditative state almost. Is that something you regularly do to not lose focus? Uh, did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> For like a solid five minutes, you were just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I just try to... In a long pause, it's like you don't... We actually sit on stage and we don't even know what is happening. Yeah. Like, we just... We, we get told there is there is a, an issue and they're looking at it. So we don't know if there's going to be a corona break, if there's not. Like So we're actually... Like, first we were discussing like whether or not we would do anything and what we should do in the current situation. But also, I was just like trying to connect with myself and be like, what... What am I gonna do to to win the game in the position I'm in? And I I wish actually you could do this more often in the game because sometimes the game is so hectic that you don't pick up all the the stuff that you're supposed to do. But these kind of breaks makes you just like refocus and actually see what is in front of you so you can win easier. Uh, so it it was even though the pause uh, actually helped them in a way with the corona break for me it was super good because I could just see what is in front of me and actually make make a good plan for us to win the game. And I think after that, it looked pretty pretty smooth for us. 
Mm, yeah, I would uh, mostly agree, for sure. Um, one last thing now, of course, uh, you are now in a situation with Origin if um, you guys do make playoffs and have a decent run that you have a very decent chance at, at making it to Worlds even. Mm -hmm. um, it would be your first appearance in three years now, of course. Yeah. Uh, last few years, you know, Unicorns and then Splice before that. Are you? Mm -hmm. uh, your, your career was kind of like, ha had a little bit of a mid-tier downwards trend compared yeah. to, you know, the Splice of 2016. Mid -life crisis. <laughs> Life crisis, if you yeah. want to call it that. Um, that. Are you are you happy to finally be be back on top and potentially make it to Worlds once again? Uh, I mean, uh, I think you have to be a special kind of human uh, to go through what I did without uh, completely crumble. Because I have, had, I I think it's 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 easy to look back and say like, uh, yeah, you just lost some games, blah blah. But uh, I've really had some hard times. Not gonna lie. Uh, but I think it's the hard times that kind of defines you in the end. And it, it, that's what it did to me. Uh, I try to take the most out of every situation that I'm in. And I, I kind of believe in fate a lot, uh, even though it, it's like it's edgy sometimes to talk about. But I believe that you are where you're supposed to be. So if, if, that, if that brings me to Worlds, I'm going to go there and do my best and, and hopefully cross some international teams. Uh, and I would love to go there. So. Uh, we will just see. Fate, fate takes us where we're we supposed to be. Okay, fate yeah. takes you where you're supposed to be. Anything you would like to say to the Origin fans and a hashtag for the people that watch until the end. Ooh, um, what would I like to see say to the Origin fans? I mean, I, to all the people that support us, you know, I see uh, at least in the past couple of weeks there's been a lot of like uh, criticism towards the team, but also positives. And I see, I especially focus on the people that support us regardless of the results because those are the true fans of, of Origin, and I, I personally appreciate them a lot uh, because those are the, the guys that no matter how you, you play, they will they will stand there and they will support you, and I that means a lot to the team. So uh, hopefully we, we we get into playoffs. Uh, I'm I'm really confident we will go into playoffs, and when we when we are there, we will we will be the Origin that uh, that showed a lot of promise in spring. So uh, I'm Best I'm excited. Five origin. The best of five yeah, I mean, best of five, like, realistically, I mean, we played three already. We won one and we got smashed in two, right? So, like, we'll see. Uh, I'm just excited to play a lot and I hope we can go into playoffs and and show the, the real origin. And the hashtag? Uh, hashtag, hmm. So, I mean, okay, this hashtag goes back in back in time. But uh, two, ga two games in a row, I played Gragas now. Yeah. And both games, I was playoff the game. And uh, I also saw Mickey. He had a, I think he had a Gragas game where he also got MVP. Yeah. So uh, I'm like, it's. I don't know if the hashtag is right, but I would, I would uh, maybe maybe go towards me being the best Gragas in EU. Hashtag best okay. Gragas in EU. Hashtag. Uh, it's it's from Mickey, but I mean, I know he will. <laughs> if he watches this, he'll be like, ah, nah, I'm so much better. I'm so much better. But uh, maybe the best jungle Gragas. Maybe, but then maybe Zerxa would have like to have a say about that one. Uh, yeah, we, we will see about that. We'll see, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll okay, see well, but let's... It's let's only a hashtag, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, let's go with, with best Gregor's EU. I like that a lot. I like a bit of fire and I like the, the banter between the, the old teammates and everything. I it's appreciate mostly it. for the old Splice guys because we had so much uh, fun back then. We're talking about like Gragas combos and uh, even though I was playing it the most back in the time with Splice, uh, Miki was playing it mid and solo all the time. He was like, I'm so much better Gragas than you. And, and Wonder, actually, Wonder played top Gragas back then. Of course. Um, and he was also like, I'm better Gragas than you. So like, uh, I mean, it's it's hard to when they're when they're like really cocky, you know, like it's hard to like get at them. But I think I have a good point right now. Man, imagine if G2 actually wins Worlds and Mickey picks Gragas for his uh, skin, and it couldn't have been yours. He's really good at Gragas, though. I will yeah, he say. is. He uh, is. We, we sometimes band around, like I watched his pro view on, on his Gragas play and he was he was pretty good. So um, there, there, we, we talk would, about it often, yeah. He deserved it for sure. I would just, uh, you know, you, you want to get those things for yourself, I would imagine. But I got two play of the game, he got only one. So obviously two is better than one. So yeah. Quick maths. Hashtag best crack to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gold, for your time. Make sure to follow him on Twitter. Of course, this was Darius from The Shot Caller. And I'll see you guys with more LEC interviews. See you guys then. Bye-bye. 
We'd especially like to thank Christoph Buinovic, Erich Althaus, Lukas Legal, Lazy Raven, and Adam Novosviat for your continuous and very special support, and of course all the people whose names you see scrolling past you right now. We have a lot of amazing projects, and of course Worlds 2019 in Europe coming up, so thank you so much for supporting us and enabling us to do our work. Thank you.